Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and the other day somebody had asked me a question and I thought it's high time that I make a video on this. Okay, so the video is how to get rid of suicidal thoughts. So many people these days, they tell me that, oh, I'm getting thoughts that I don't want to live. I want to commit suicide. I want to just go to the forest where there's nobody. I don't want to deal with people. <laughs> my husband doesn't listen to me my wife doesn't listen to me my boyfriend doesn't listen to me my girlfriend doesn't listen to me my son doesn't listen to me my father doesn't listen to me nobody listens to me <laughs> so what to do let's let's end it right no you shouldn't do that okay so today we will see how to get rid of those terrible thoughts which keep haunting us and i will also tell you something practical which you can do okay apart from the things which are there in youtube and google maintain a gratitude journal and all this all those things help but only up to a certain level beyond that they cannot help i'll tell you why because there's a fundamental problem because of which these tendencies come which the the general uh, media does does not address okay so we will see them today and yes if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and if you want me to help you or look at your chart or deal deal uh, help you deal with depression or suicidal thoughts then you can go to my website you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below okay and yes today's video is on suicide so i must say because this sentence is going to be the hallmark for this video that god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now let's talk about suicide suicide is what basically one of my gurus once said suicide is a very uh, it is an act of courageous cowardice should i repeat it is an act of courageous cowardice they are very courageous it requires a lot of courage to do suicide at least i don't have that much courage to do to go and take my life but ultimately you are becoming simply a coward nothing else nobody because you are simply running away well let me go to the scriptures the scriptures the vedic scriptures say that there are different punishments which are there for anybody who commits suicide and this is not to threaten you or make you more fearful but this is to make you aware of the fact that it is not a solution why is suicide sinful because you are taking the life of somebody now you may say oh this is my body i can do whatever i want no you have you don't own this body you are temporarily staying in this body this body is given to you by god almighty to perfect your spiritual life you are a spirit soul and you are temporarily living in this body just the way you go to a hotel sometimes for two days you stay there you enjoy the food and all the other things and then you you take off so this body is like that so when we misuse this body for wrong purposes then we get punishment because the human body out of all the 8.4 million species the difference between humans and animals is scriptures say that the human body is the only body where you can develop your spiritual consciousness because you will never find a dog or a cat or an elephant or a snake discussing oh you know there are something called as uh, Shiva or Vishnu or Jesus or Allah you will never find them discussing because that is beyond their uh, realm of perception of course it is beyond our level of perception also but humans are bestowed with a level of intelligence by which they can at least understand those things so when we do not use that body for that purpose ultimately then we suffer okay so this is to inform everybody that you will get severe karma if you commit suicide so if you have any plans to commit suicide and many people tell me that oh i have some plans should i do it <laughs> so please don't do it because the more you do the next life when you take birth you will suffer even more okay so that's the first thing that it is out of the question throw it out okay that's not the solution now what's the solution see basically you have to understand why do we feel like committing suicide why do we feel like that yes he says to be very honest sometimes i also feel <laughs> and you are watching this video maybe sometimes you also get a thought once in a while maybe sometimes <laughs> 
it's okay to get those thoughts there's no problem but you should not keep dwelling in it once in a blue moon it comes oh it's not working forget it finish it done <laughs> so just think about it and throw it out so the thing is why do we get these thoughts have you ever asked this question because we wanted something so bad and it didn't happen right that is what is the main principle behind committing suicide you want something and you don't get it or you did not want something and you got that you wanted a happy married life but you got divorced you wanted to get rid of that person and that person is coming and staying with you oh my god you wanted to get a million dollar job but you didn't get you ended up getting a maybe half a million dollar job and that's why you are planning to commit suicide so the root cause behind this problem is expectation should i repeat expectation is the main reason why this happens and the amount of frustration newton's fifth law <laughs> newton's fifth law of thermodynamics <laughs> states that the amount of frustration is directly proportional to the amount of expectation <laughs> Newton's new law, no? Newton has sent from the heavens. This is my new law of expectation, thermodynamics, <laughs> electromagnetics. So now, so what to do? We have these expectations from people, from ourselves. We expect that we will do good in this area, but that doesn't happen many of the times. We expect that that person will give us something in return. that person will reciprocate with us if we do something for that person that person will do something for us in return but that doesn't happen many 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 times even it has happened with me i've done so many things for so many people and then <laughs> later on when time comes they show their colors now the number is very less in my case fortunately but maybe as time goes ahead the number increases who knows so we have to understand that we should have realistic expectations first of all which means that if we know that we are not good at something and how do we know that we can know ourselves we can ask ourselves this question so suppose somebody is working in a it field the person may be a good it developer or a good tester or a good project manager but that doesn't mean that he is necessarily somebody like mark zuckerberg or bill gates so when you know yourself then you also know what to expect now if you are like them then you expect that's different but we have to know where we lie sachin tendulkar tomorrow if he starts becoming a it programmer maybe he will also feel like committing suicide because that is not his area so first of all we have to see where we lie which is our which is our place of strength if we do not identify that and we try to do other things then we will have 10 times more stress so the point is very simple that we do not do things which we are not good at now somebody will say that oh that means you are saying nobody should be in this field in that field no i am not saying that what i am saying is if you are not very good at something suppose in your job then keep your expectations low be realistic don't just because you are colleague is getting a package of 10 lakhs doesn't mean that you will also get okay now tomorrow you may get a package of 20 lakhs that's fine and the second thing i would like to tell you is and this is much good to hear the second thing is you don't need to be the best everywhere it's okay if you are not the best it is okay your life will not go to the heavens tomorrow if you get a million dollars or you get the a uh, best partner the most beautiful girl or the most handsome boy tomorrow your life is not going to change zoop like this it doesn't happen you might think that it happens but let me tell you it doesn't happen i talk with so many people many people take consultations from me the millionaires billionaires so much money they have but still they are not happy the amount of money they are earning every day is more than the entire money people like you and me can earn in the rest of our life i'm saying there there are people who are earning 
more than that in one day and maybe there are people who are earning more than that every minute so just because you earn a million dollars it doesn't mean you are happy so we have to get rid of this conception that having materialistic things will only give us happiness materialistic things can give us pleasure but they and they can also give us some level of happiness but ultimately we have to understand that we will not get happiness from the material things alone the highest level of happiness we will not get and that is what the soul is searching for in the scriptures it is said raso vai saha the absolute truth is the reservoir of all happiness and the vedanta sutra also says ananda mayo bhyasat which means that the living entity the soul atma you me we are all atma ananda mayo bhyasat we are searching for eternal happiness ananda is happiness mayo abhyasat means it is like uh, what is the meaning of the word abhyas abhyas means habit it is our default habitual nature to be happy that is why whenever there something goes wrong we become uh, we, we become distressed because that is hindering our happiness every morning you get up and you go to the bathroom why because there's a pressure inside your stomach if you do not release it you will become unhappy every morning after you go then you go to the kitchen and you eat something why because there's a pain of hunger which is not letting you be happy so if you analyze a person from the morning till the night the only thing he or she is doing is he is trying to get rid of those things which make him unhappy but the problem with this material world is lord krishna says this material world is dukhalayam ashashvatam naapnuvanti mahatmana which means that whatever we do how much ever we do whoever we are there will always be some level of frustration involved now you may think oh i am earning 25000 rupees a month in indian currency my friend is earning 1 lakh rupees but the moment you get to his level you have to have 10 times more competition to maintain it because now there are 20 other people eyeing on your seat corporate ladder <laughs> if you don't perform then your senior management will throw you out so if you think that by getting a job of 1 million dollars you will become happy maybe but not necessarily because that time your load your pressure your tension that will increase 10 times because when a company is paying you 1 million dollars imagine how much work it is going to take out from you you can't even imagine they are going to take it out in billions and you will only get 1% of that so just because you are having a low package it doesn't mean that you cannot be happy get rid of this conception that money will only money can give me happiness and money will definitely give me happiness that 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 cannot happen now somebody will say in the comments oh that means you are saying money is bad no i i'm not saying money is bad i'm saying that if you think that by getting truck loads of money only you will be happy then you are at a royal road for frustration you have seen so many actors they commit suicide recently so many singers have committed suicide so many models they commit suicide why everything they are having why they are committing suicide because they are lacking something fundamental which is the connection of the soul to god that they are lacking and when that you are lacking whatever else you have it is not going to totally satisfy you ananda mayo bhyasat which means that you can only be happy you me everybody if we ultimately connect to god because he is the reservoir of all happiness raso vai saha as it is said in the scriptures and when you connect to god when you read scriptures like the bhagavad gita where lord krishna says सुहृदम सर्वभूता ज्ञावा मं शांति रुच्छति लॉर्ड कृष्ण सेस दिस इन दी गीता ही सेस दैट आई एम द मोस्ट वेल विशिंग फ्रेंड ऑफ एवरी लिविंग एंटिटी देर इज वन वर्स इन द गीता विच सम्स अप ऑल दिस डिप्रेशन एंड सुसाइड एंड एवरीथिंग भोक्ता यज्ञ तपसा सर्वोक महेश्वर सुहृदम सर्वभूता ज्ञावा मं शांति रुच्छति 
भोक्ताराम यज्ञ तपसाम आई एम दी आई एम दी एंजॉयर ऑफ ऑल दी सेक्रीफाइसेस यज्ञ एंड तपस्यास भोक्ता मीन्स आई रिसीव ऑल वेन वी डू तपस्या वी डू इट इन द नेम ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु सु भोक्ताराम यज्ञ तपसाम सर्वलोक महेश्वरम आई एम दी अनडिस्प्यूटेड प्रोपराइटर ऑफ ऑल द यूनिवर्स सर्वलोक महेश्वरम सुहृदम सर्वभूताम एंड आई एम दी मोस्ट वेल सुहृद इज द मोस्ट वेल विशिंग फ्रेंड सर्वभूताम एवरीबॉडी ऑल द भूतास एवरीबॉडी ज्ञातवा माम वन हु नोज दिस शांति मृछति he attains peace because now the person understands nothing was actually mine nothing is mine and nothing will ever be mine many people tell me that oh i have had a break up recently i feel like committing suicide why because you thought that that person was supposed to stay with you for eternity ha kya baat hai no that person was anyway supposed to go one day even if you have you seen happy married couples staying as if they are in as if they've recently celebrated honeymoon some people even after 20 years they will seem like that but even if you see those people you have to remember that just it's a matter of time that they are going to be separated like this it is just a matter of time within few few days few months few years or maybe few decades that happens and that is not in your control not is that is in not in my control that is not even in their control because one day one of them will perish earlier maybe the husband perishes earlier or the wife goes earlier who knows so then the other person suffers because one of them will obviously die early unless both of them die together like a typical bollywood movie scene uh, <laughs> then both of them will die together but that doesn't happen most of the times and generally it is seen that the men they live earlier yes so anyways so the point is when we understand this fact that we are not the controller actually we are not the enjoyer we are not the proprietor of anything when we are married we are having responsibility towards our spouse we are just fulfilling that responsibility and when we are doing that as a matter of reciprocation the other person will also give us some level of happiness hopefully but that doesn't mean that our happiness should be defined from the other person and that is what is happening these days people tell me that oh my relationships don't work all my expectations get shattered no? none of my expectations are fulfilled why is that happening because you have given the key of your happiness to somebody else nobody else in this world is responsible for your own happiness other than you yourself so you have to understand this fact that i do not control anything and i am not the enjoyer basically who is the enjoyer lord krishna says i am the enjoyer <laughs> so then you will so when you are spiritually more aware you will understand that this material world this life which i am having now is simply like a journey i am living here for 20 years for 30 years for maybe 100 years i am having a name called रमेश मुकेश बाबाजीत शाहरुख खान हुएवर प्रियंका चोपड़ा <laughs> हेमा मालिनी श्रीदेवी शी इज नो मोर श्रीदेवी वॉज देअर वॉन्स अपन अ टाइम बट शी इज नॉट देयर एनी मोर नाउ सो वी विल ऑल्सो टेक सम नेम्स वी विल हैव अ चैनल मे बी एक्जॉटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड देन वन डे वी विल पेरिश नो बडी विल नो हु वी वेयर सो वेन वी नो दैट वी आर एनी वे इज गोइंग टू पेरिश वन डे and everybody connected to us will also perish then we will not get too much into depression and that's ground zero but if you want to get rid of depression completely depression means suicidal thoughts then you have to understand the last part of the shloka suhritam sarva bhutanam gyatvam am shantim rutchati This is the most important shloka for suicidal thoughts. The Lord Krishna says, "I am the most well-wishing friend of everybody." And Lord Krishna, in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, he was who? He was the charioteer of Arjuna, and Krishna had protected Arjuna always. Although Arjuna was himself a great personality, but Lord Krishna also ensured that he also protected Arjuna. 
so when we also allow lord krishna to become the charioteer of our life then he can also give us the right guidance the way he had given to arjuna when arjuna was about to kill jayadrath then lord krishna told to jayadrath that his head should fall at the father's uh, the lap of jayadrath's father that is his destiny and then arjuna said yes i will do it and then he sh- he shot it and the head was knocked off and it went and fell in the lap of jayadrath's father itself and the head blasted so imagine if arjuna did not know this what would have happened the moment jayadrath's head fell in the ground bang arjuna's head is finished cracked off so how did how was arjuna saved because of krishna because of this yes yudhishthir maharaj although he is dharma raj but any time there is a problem he will directly go to lord krishna and say oh what should we do now <laughs> see even he is doing this what to speak of other people dharma raj yudhishthir who is who is the pinnacle of all the religious spiritual perfections he is doing this every ekadashi will find like yesterday tuesday was ekadashi which is today here in germany all the descriptions of the ekadashis start with the following dharmraj yudhishthir asked lord krishna oh supreme personality of godhead please enlighten us about this ekadashi why do we follow eka- this ekadashi that ekadashi why so even a person like yudhishthir maharaj can also go into depression if there are no if there are if people like lord krishna are not there so when we understand that we always have somebody with us then probably we will not commit suicide even if we get these thoughts because who commits suicide one who is totally convinced that i don't have anybody in this world only that person commits suicide the father is not responding the mother is not responding the husband doesn't respond the wife doesn't respond the kids don't respond what to do just hang yourself right so when we understand that god is always there for us then this will not happen so now somebody will say then how to know that god is there or how to connect to him basically yes that's the question because just if you have this conception oh god is there with me na nothing will be there will be no problem no it doesn't work that way it is not some superficial writing of a affirmation which people say these days oh write in a paper na that this is there this will happen no it's total nonsense it doesn't work like that at least in matters of spirituality it doesn't work like that when you want to develop your connection to god you have to aggressively pursue spiritual path and how do you do that you have to ensure that you are including spiritual activities within your day to day life going to the temple once in a week is good but it can't help you much to be very honest that is for beginners but i am very sure that if you are watching this video you might have watched 2 300 other videos in my channel and only then you are watching this video then you would have understood where where my focus is so every day you have to give yourself this remembrance that god is there with me and how do you do that a very beautiful way is by reading the scriptures reading the bhagavad gita and then once you finish the bhagavad gita then you can go and read the shrimad bhagavatam best it is all the divine scriptures you can read if you are a christian watching this then you can also go and read the bible there also you will find so many things the 10 commandments of jesus wow wonderful <laughs> and once you read the scriptures then don't just keep it to yourself you can keep sharing and discussing them with others then after that you have to maintain a good lifestyle good diet which is free of violence vegetarian diet because then the mode of goodness is more inside you then naturally you are positive people in rajoguna are always very agitated i want to have sex with this girl i want to have sex with this man i want to take wine i want to take uh, this cocaine heroin ganja my god what not yes i want to watch game of thrones i want to watch big boss i want to watch this movie that movie i want to watch pornography oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> 
and then people who are in tamoguna oh nothing is good in life you know it's very bad i will commit suicide to- total these two modes are total it's totally disastrous for spiritual life so when we are in sattva guna which is the mode of goodness there we can ensure that our spiritual journey is beautifully moving <laughs> actually we are moving in the spiritual journey okay so that is what i would say and meet people who are spiritually aware instead of meeting people who are discussing about the private parts of the opposite sex of who is having an affair with whom who got the promotion did he get a job using some reference or did he get it by his own means oh this girl i know she must have slept with the boss that is how she gets promotions promotions so, so quickly yes maybe she has but maybe she has not how does it matter you my dear sir my dear madam and so many ladies i know bitching about other ladies oh my god <laughs> please <laughs> stop criticizing others stop celebrating the f- downfall of others if you are watching things like big boss game of thrones where they are showing how to pull others down then somebody else will also pull you down one day you see if you are watching politics all the time oh bjp versus congress donald trump versus bernie sanders versus hillary clinton us versus vladimir putin if these are the things you are watching all the time oh my god you are doing for frustration then all the negativity is coming to you always you see and then you also meet people who are talking about spiritual topics find a spiritual community within your place within your city or town and then if possible in the weekends go and meet them and when you are in the office do not associate with those people who are discussing garbage about cricket about football about politics about affairs about sex about porn who is the latest porn star in the market you see <laughs> who is having an arranged marriage or who is having a love marriage that's the big discussion in india these days the moment they will hear shudras the moment they hear oh somebody has had a love marriage <sighs> wow <laughs> that's a typical trait of a shudra these, these days gone case it's total totally gone case and then somebody has had an arranged marriage oh poor fellow he has to stay with somebody you know who he hates for the rest of 50 years kya baat hai so if we are having this kind of company nearby then please pray to god whoever you are more having faith on yes please pray to him that please give me the company of good people and if you cannot find good company create a good company should i repeat if you cannot find good company create a good company catch one or two people and start discussing about scriptures they will they will turn up one or two will definitely turn up it will happen the more powerful you are the more people will be attracted to you spiritually and then life will be much better because you will have a positive bent of mind people who will help you people will encourage you rather than discussing about the useless rubbish garbage of this world all right so sorry if it was quite pinching <laughs> the other day somebody a lady told me that i like your videos very much but the only problem is it pinches my ears <laughs> you see sometimes it's good to pinch others <laughs> all right so when we understand that god is there with us and then things will be much better develop the connection with god and by that we will feel that yes there's somebody with us and then these suicidal thoughts will go down and there will be a moment in our life where we will find that these thoughts are not existing anymore because in the scriptures it is said रसवर्जम रसोप्यस्त परम दृष्टि निवर्तते गीता से परम दृष्टि निवर्तते दैट व्हेन यू ऑब्टेन हायर टेस्ट द लोअर थिंग्स गो अवे ओके सो व्हेन वी ऑब्टेन हायर टेस्ट इन कनेक्टिंग टू गॉड देन ऑल दिस लोअर एनिमलिस्टिक ट्रेट्स दीस थिंग्स विल गो अवे एंड देन 
लॉर्ड कृष्ण ऑल्सो से जिंदगी था ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्न आत्मा न सोचति न कांक्षति समा सर्वेशु भूतेशु मद भक्ति लभते पराम दट वन हु इज पीसफुल देन द स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी गोस ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्न आत्मा वन हु इज हैप्पी न सोचति न कांक्षति द पर्सन डज नॉट हैंकर ओ आई वॉन्ट दिस गर्ल आई वॉन्ट दैट बॉय और द पर्सन डज एन लेमेंट ओ दैट पर्सन वेंट वो लड़की गई दिस मैन वेंट आई लॉस माई मर्सिडीज आई लॉस माई जॉब एट बी एम वे यस समा सर्वेशु भूतेशु मत भक्तिम लभते पराम दैट इज द टाइम वेन द स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ किक्स ऑफ ओके इट्स लॉन्ग वीडियो शुड आई से एनी थिंग एंड येस समबडी हैज बीन टेलिंग मी दैट प्लीज रिसाइड सम अदर श्लोका समटाइम्स सो दे इज वन श्लोका इन दी भागवतम विच आर ऑलवेज रिसाइड इन कॉन्टेक्स टू दिस Yes. With what? What is that shloka? There are so many shlokas. Which one should I recite? Okay. Manorathe naasati dhavato bahi. This is the shloka that when we are, when our mind is not controlled, it goes on in this. The mind is like a chariot. Manoratha, manorathe naasati goes attached. It get gets attached to this person, to this thing, to that thing, and we keep going like that. हराव भक्त से कुतो महत गुणान मनोरथे ना सती धावत बही एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो रीड बुक्स लाइक दि ब्रह्म संहिता एंड देर आर ब्यूटिफुल प्रेयर्स इन दि ब्रह्म संहिता वेणु क्वलतमरविंद दलायताक्षम बरहावत समसित बुध सुंदर लक्ष्मी सहस्र सत संभ्रम सेव्यम गोलोक निजधा निवासी रेखा सृष्टि दट्स इट Okay there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please go to my website and you can book a reading with me and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is planning to commit suicide okay <laughs> i hope the person doesn't end up committing suicide and the person is saved okay so there you go wish you good luck god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there oh bye bye <laughs>